everyone, welcome back to Paul's Model Works. And I know it's been a little bit, but as you guys know, um, we have been moving. And uh, when you're moving, it takes more time than you think to uh, get settled in and to actually move. Um, so anyway, but we are in our new place. Um, and we've been here for about a week now. Um, and we uh, are getting settled in and getting kind of used to the new area um, and everything. And uh, all of the uh, good stuff that goes along with all of that. Um, I'm getting used to my new job. Um, that's kind of why we moved. Um, I got a new job. And so um, it's kind of cool because with my new job, I get the opportunity to uh, work from home now. Um, and so... Uh, you know, it's nice um, uh, to be able to, to be at home and, and to kind of have a little more lax hours uh, and things like that um, and everything. But it's also new for me, so it's kind of a learning experience um, to, you know, be disciplined and, and actually uh, work. <laughs> so, but everything's going good so far. Um, but I wanted to uh, show you guys my new uh, workbench and let you see um, what I've got kind of set up at the moment. Um, everything's not perfectly set up yet, but it's getting there. Um, so anyway, let me turn this around and show you guys what it is. Okay, so here we go. Um, my new space is uh, in a closet in my office or the room that is my office. And um, that actually they have huge closets in our new place. And uh, they're like walk-in closets, so it makes for a pretty killer space. Um, so anyway, you can see it's a double door closet and everything. So let me go in here and show you what we've got going on. Um, I put a little shelf here in the one side uh, or a tabletop so that I can have a space to actually work on my models. Um, you can see, okay, so Excuse the mess. Like I said, not everything's completely unpacked yet. Um, but here is just a quick look at everything that is in here. Um, so I've got my workspace here. I've got uh, some of my um, testers and model masters uh, paints, my ProTech uh, parts. Um, they're right there. And ooh, look at that, some Dr. Cranky cards. Um, we've got, uh, you know, some of my uh, glues and um, little things like that back there. This is my little bench light um, that I have. It's actually really great. Um, and then I've got brushes and sanding sticks and, you know, tweezers and all kinds of other things um, sitting in that. Uh, and then over here, I've got, these are all my Vallejo paints and paint uh, thinners, my uh, thinners for that stuff. Um, there's my airbrush with my um, Iwata Neo. Um, and there's my uh, spray booth. Um, I can use it here when I'm just doing, um, you know, water-based paints, acrylics, um, different things like that. So I can actually use it in my space here. Um, and then if I... Uh, you know, need to spray anything that's got any kind of chemicals in it or fumes, then I've got a window on the other side of my office and I can just move it over there and vent it out the window. Um, and then I've got my drawers down here. Uh, we've got paints in the bottom drawer. We've got um, just leftover parts and things like that in the second drawer. Then I've got, uh, well here, I'll just show you really quick. So here is my vast assortment of spray paints. Here is my, underneath all of this, there is parts. We've got tires and wheels in that one, miscellaneous small parts, and different bagged type of parts here. Uh, some of this hasn't been unpacked yet, so I've got uh, some bodies and old models that I've built there. Um, then in here we've got some of my auto air colors, uh, flocking, and just all kinds of stuff that hasn't been unpacked yet. Um, let's see. 
Uh, in here I've got tapes, all different types of um, rods. Um, I got my plastic and stuff like that. On uh, the back back here I've got my styrene and some other various little detail parts and things like that. Uh, up here we've got um, tools and this looks like a mess because like I said I haven't organized anything. This is how it got moved here during packing. Um, some stuff up there. Uh, and then on my shelf here that's above, um, there's the workspace, so above that I've got more paints up here. I've got my, my box for my Purple Pond sitting there. Um, there's my uh, AK and MIG Jimenez washes and pigments and things um, and paints. Then I've got my Wicked Colors here and then my acrylic uh, craft paints there. And then up top is all of my unbuilt or in progress uh, builds um, that are up there. So it actually worked out pretty good. I don't have a lot of uh, boxed models compared to some other people. So um, it kind of works out nice up there. Um, and then, you know, just starting on some decor uh, around the closet area here. So there's the my cranky calendar. Um, I had a good friend that made, uh, took this uh, picture here, and he's a model builder as well, and uh, made this for me. It's a uh, little newspaper cartoon um, about model building, and so uh, he uh, put that in there for me. But anyway, um, that is pretty much what I've got going on as far as a uh, model building space. And um, as you know, in my last, uh, our last house, I was in a very small, small, small closet space. So this feels huge to me and uh, was going to let me have a lot of room. So I'll probably put a couple more or at least one more shelf there above my uh, spray booth and that'll let me, you know, display some of my built models. Um, in their cases and stuff like that right now. Uh, they are all sitting inside of that box right there um, Packed up in lots of bubble wrap um, so that they're good and protected But I will uh, hopefully be putting a shelf up there and get those displayed So anyway, that's pretty much it guys. That's the new space. I just wanted to share with you uh, We're still getting settled in but hopefully I'll be able to start making some uh, videos here and get some more updates out for you guys uh, the Super B is sitting right up there, and she moved perfectly, no problems, no breaks or anything, so I'll get that back out and start rolling on it again here soon. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. Keep building those awesome models. Sorry I've not been able to comment and stay up on a lot of your videos, um, but I'll get back on it now that we're settling down. And so anyway, eat, sleep, styrene, and I'll talk to you all later.